Hey guys, Jerry Bear here, and today let's focus back on God of War 4. A recent article from Game Rant has given us some information into uh, another change slash update to the latest entry in the God of War series. This being optional boss fights. I'm not going to lie to you guys, when I first saved this article, I could have swore it said optimal boss fights, but uh, this is way more interesting. Uh, this would actually mark the first time in the series history that would feature something like optional boss fights. Having the choice to face some of the bigger baddies or stick to the story mission comes with some intrigue and maybe a little bit of worries for some people. One, they already took away the jump button, and I'm sure there are many people like me and are going to agree with me when I say this. For me, it doesn't matter the game. I love jump buttons. I just like to spam something while I'm playing the game. And there's plenty of great games out there without a jump button. That's not really going to make a difference. It's just it's a little bit sad, that's all. Rest in peace, God of War jump button. But two... One of the things I love about God of War is definitely the boss fights and the quick time events. And having the option to skip some of these may lead some players, you know, away from some really cool boss fights. But hey, that's your fault. Just play the game. <laughs> and you may skip these just to get a mission over with. You're like, ah, hey, you know what? I'm going to stick to this mission, go to bed, screw the QTE, I'm, I'm done with this. But hey, to each his own. But like the article mentioned, this isn't going to be for all bosses. And I, that's really what I don't want people to take away from this. It's not going to be for all bosses. It's not like you get to the end of the game. If you have a final boss, you can just skip it. Probably just for those mid-tier guys. Uh, in an interview with Game Informer, director Corey Barlog, I want to say Balrog so bad when I see his name, was asked, are there optional bosses in the game? To which he replied, quote, yes, end quote. Isn't that just some riveting information? He just said yes. Uh, basically, you'll be able to avoid some conflict, which can be good or bad. The good thing is, they are doing something different with this title. It's always nice when you see some fresh changes, whether it be welcomed or hated one. It's just the companies out there, they're trying, trying to improve the game for the best. Uh, in any game with these options, I personally choose to partake in every battle and every quest. You know, just get the person as buffed up or as well experienced as you can. I don't know exactly how this game's going to differ from the other ones. I don't know all the changes are coming to. A lot of stuff still kept under wraps. The game comes out April 20th. We are just under two months away from actually being able to play God of War 4. Super, super excited. And I'm not going to try to look into the future because we haven't got God of War 4 yet. But another thing cool with the changes, if it goes smooth or if it goes badly, if if they plan on making another game following this up, whether it follows uh, Atreus. I don't know how to say his name. Somebody please give me like a sound out. His, his son. Maybe something that follows him. Who knows what happens. Uh, they can learn from what they're doing in this game to improve that game. You know? Think about that, Bungie. Think about that for Destiny 2. Learn how to make stuff better. But, um, anyways, guys, I'm not looking ahead to the next game because we haven't even got God of War 4 yet. I'm extremely, extremely excited. I cannot wait to play this game. So my question for you guys today is, what do you think of the changes? Do you like the idea of optional bosses? Do you hate it? Either way, let me know why. Let's have a conversation. And as always, thank you guys. And check back for more gameplays, commentaries, news, and updates. Peace.